Market Watcher Larry Glazer says when companies are improving, but they're sitting on their cash and not moving. Well, that that worries Larry. Why, Larry? You know, Neil, it's not just Alcoa. Corporate America is sitting on a pile of cash. In fact, they're sitting on their highest level of cash in a generation. It's actually the highest level of cash as a percentage of assets in five decades. That may be a good thing for corporate America in terms of their ability to withstand volatility and trouble in the economy. The problem is it stifles economic growth. And that's one of the reasons why we've seen the weakest economic recovery since World War II, because companies are unwilling to part with that cash. Now, it's interesting. When we talk to CEOs, we talk to companies, they tell us it's uncertain. It's not just uncertainty as it relates to health care and Obamacare and the cost to hire an employee, but it's also uncertainty as it relates to the tax code. If we are on a path right now for the highest, greatest tax increase in the history of the United States at the end of this year. But in addition to that, we see additional proposals like the Buffett rule, the so-called millionaire's tax, which is intended to get millionaires to pay more than they're paying now. And that's creating more uncertainty for companies, less desire to invest, less desire to put that money to work. You know, just to put this in layman's terms, I, I think companies are a lot, and you've reminded me of this, like us. If we're nervous about the future, we'll, we'll scale back our spending plans. At the very least, we'll build an emergency pile of cash just just in case in case a spouse might lose his or her job or get a demotion or or, or whatever so you the better part of valor is just to keep a little money in a tin can now obviously companies have something substantially bigger than a tin can alcoa's case a big one to have 1.7 billion bucks in it but like you say many companies are doing the same thing what would get them to put their hands in that tin can Sure. And these companies, if you ask these CEOs, they want to put that money to work. They want to hire people because they'll make more money, but they won't do it because of uncertainty. What will change their minds is clarity, certainty, not just in the tax code, but they want to see an air of simplicity. Certainly regulation has increased. That, does, that inhibits growth. That's one of the things that we're seeing here. You know, as we talk about with the Buffett rule that's been discussed today, Neil, the Buffett rule may be intended to see millionaires pay more, but the entire New York Yankees infield won't necessarily pay more taxes under that, but people investing in the economy will. So again, adding new regulation and new legislation isn't necessarily getting us to where we want to be. Maybe simplifying what we have and and enforcing what we have and closing loopholes will get us where we need to be and get companies to feel more confident so they can invest in the economy, hire people, and pay down our debt. All right, Larry Glazer, great seeing you again. Thank you.